guys, welcome to Fat Quarter Shop's live stream. Today is June 21st. Um, I can't believe it's already summer. Today is summer solstice. It's supposed to be the longest day of the year. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't done anything. I haven't gone on my vacation. I haven't done anything like the summer's just going by. I feel like this year is just like zooming by. But I have a ton of stuff to show you, a lot of free stuff coming up that I know you guys are gonna love. Um, so, the very first thing that we're working on behind the scenes right now is we're filming our Merry Mini series, which is our Christmas in July quilting event. Every Tuesday in July, we're gonna give you four 12 inch blocks. And on the fifth week, we're gonna give you the finishing. It's a free pattern. And so today on the blog, later on the blog, we'll have all this information, but you need one layer cake and you actually really only need half a layer cake. So you need 19 10 inch squares or scraps, one and a half yards background, half yard binding and two and a half yards backing. So this starts the very first week of July. So if you wanna gather up in your sewing room, you know, everything you already have, or if you wanna get a new layer cake, that's exactly what you need. And we're in process of filming that right now. So I thought I would give you like a little peek, but I have to be very careful so I don't show it to you because it is a mystery, but I can promise you that you will like this quilt. And the best thing about it is if you don't make it in Christmas fabric, it can just be like a normal quilt. And it's kind of like a little table topper. It is gonna be 33 inches, so that's about the size. So I'm not gonna mess anything up. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. So the layer cake that I used is Snow Day by Stacy Itsu. And the reason I picked this one is because the fabrics are very Christmas and very novelty, and I felt like the colors are really nice. So, that's what I used. I'm gonna tease you with the back. Here's the back. So you can see it's a small quilt, and so we've been filming them because there's five videos. So the videos are only taking me about an hour and a half, and that includes cutting everything, like cutting it, piecing it, Lily telling me when to start and stop. So very easy, very beginner friendly. And I want to confess that I did starch my layer cake because you sub cut from the layer cake. And I think on the outer, you do need 10 inches, but your layer cake will only shrink in one direction when you starch. So you should be good and you should have enough for that outer border. So there's the tease of the back. So if you wanna join us, what I would do is gather a yard and a half of a background from your stash and a layer cake or some scraps. And then I'm gonna tease the back of the blocks really quick. I'm not gonna to show too much. So this is, the, this is the back of block two that I did yesterday. And this is the back of block one. And then we're filming block three and four today and the finishing on Monday. And we're still sewing that, so that's free, totally free pattern use your stash you don't have to buy anything so awesome and then we're also going to have an awesome sew along where we're going to have you hopping actually like going to other people's blogs to see and like lots of people are participating like chelsea stratton and pat sloan and other people it's awesome real quick we have a new member uh, uh kim, kim west. west welcome, welcome kim west. west i don't is, is it, it kim, kim kardashian, kardashian west so, oh my sorry. gosh <laughs> welcome <laughs> kim confetti <laughs> cannon Oh my goodness, Lily, it's Sorry. funny. Bad joke. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, thanks. Another thing that we're working on right now is our Pineapple Day quilt. This is a free pattern on our blog. You do need our pineapple paper. There's a six inch pad and a 12 inch pad. And so what these are, are foundation paper piecing. And so we showed you our six inch blocks last week. And so this week I'm gonna show you the rest. So these are Lily's. Lily is using Pinkerville. So these are Lily's. She hasn't taken her paper off yet. I'm waiting until I'm about to piece it all together. Oh, you are? Yeah, I just, it makes me feel secure. Like they lay flatter when the paper stays on it. So it's like they're not getting wrinkly. That is like Thank you. And then next week we're gonna be showing our finished quilts. So I'm gonna show you, I'm doing something different because I cheated. I'm doing 12 inch blocks and I am using the wovens from Sugar Creek. So I will show you all of, oh, that's funny. I took my paper off, but look, I forgot a little, 
I forgot one. Look. <laughs> that totally would have been sewn into my quilt, too. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So I'm going to show you my blocks. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to take my 12-inch blocks. I'm going to set them three by three. I'll show it to you next week. And then one thing um, I'm trying to do is come up with stuff to tell you how I am efficient and how I save time. And one of the things that I do is when I'm sewing a quilt, I will do the binding and the backing in the very beginning process. And I'm gonna show you that and kind of tell you why. Because I think when you start sewing a quilt, it can get old, you can get tired of it, you just wanna get it done. And I don't want to like throw anything together. So when I made this, my 12 inch blocks, I just used a fat quarter bundle because we had one. And I just used 9900 color 20, 97. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. I used um, C725 white, which is a Riley Blake. Because I had that in my stash at home. So I used that. So one of the things that I do to save time is chain piece. And in my Merry Mini videos, I'm going to show you, the videos are going to be totally different than the things we've done in the past. It's going to be a more, you download the free pattern, but I'm going to show you how real deal I would do it in my house. Because when I sew, I always do it the most efficient way because I always say work smarter and work harder, not or, both. So I need as much, um, as much done as fast as I can, etc., etc. So one of the things that I do do is I try to do my backing and my binding in the very beginning of the process. So before I ever even made my 12 inch blocks, I did the backing. So the way that I did my backing, and I usually do a pieced backing, that's kind of my thing, is I took a six inch block that I made last week and I just put some fabrics on the left and the right. I put a label in the very middle. It's sewn in, so if the quilt is ever stolen, you can't pull it out. I got that from Jaybird Quilts, which is Julie Herman, and I got the label from Sweetwater Label Company. So there's that, and then I also went ahead and did my binding, and I keep my binding in my Lori Holt tins so that it stays I don't know, it just fits perfectly, like the two and a half, so I just keep them in here. And that way, at the end of the process, I'm not like rushing and trying to do the binding and making it ugly. And then also it gives you kind of an, a sense of accomplishment because you're like, oh my gosh, I already have the backing done, I just have to get the border on. I think it's just a mental, it's just like a mental, I don't wanna say game, but like, it just mentally helps you get through that project. So we have Mary Minnie coming up. We have pineapple day, we're in the process of, and I have something else because we are always trying to do fun stuff. You might have seen we are we have a perfect five book coming out. There are 16 quilts that you can make with charm packs and the perfect five ruler. This is our brand new ruler that will be coming out later in the year. The book, the, the book is gonna come out in September and the ruler is going to come out in August, I believe. So we have this new book coming out. It's by It's So Emma. And I'm gonna show you some of the quilts. And you can see all of this on our site, but we had the Perfect 10 book. It was super popular. So we thought, oh my gosh, People have all these pre-cuts they want to use up. Let's come up with a book. So we did. And I kind of wanted to show you, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but this sew along, I think it starts in November. So it's not going to start for a long time, but I always sew the samples for those so that I know that it works. So I went ahead and took Early Bird and I'm starting the sew along so that I can test it. All we have right now is a draft of the the quilt. Now the quilt pattern is going to be free, just like the Perfect 10 where you can get free, but you do need the book because you have to refer to the book for each of the block instructions. So we basically take different blocks from within the book and we sew them up and put them into more of a sampler style quilt. So I've been working on that. I'm going to be working on that this weekend. 
and I'm loving it. I love samplers, so that's really awesome. Another thing I worked on is yesterday Lori released this block. It's called Playing Cards, mm -hmm. and it's a six inch block. And so the way she assembled the block was a big square and then a corner square on top of it. To save time, I just did triangle paper for my triangles and then I guess half triangles on the edge. So this took me maybe 20 minutes. So I used fabric that I already had starched and um, put it together last night. And I think it's cute. So those are kind of some of the things I've been working on in my sewing room. One thing I'm gonna do this weekend is the Moda Blockheads quilt. I finished it, but I do want to piece my backing. So I'm gonna get that done this weekend. I am going to work on the Perfect Five sew along. I am going to work on some other stuff you're going to see in this stack because we have so much stuff. And then I'm also going to do two Harry Potter blocks. <clears throat> Another thing we are working on is we took, we took an older video of ours. It's one of our shortcut jelly roll quilts and we are turning it into a quilt as you go. This is the back of what I did uh, last weekend. We're fine tuning that tutorial. So it's one of our patterns and we're just gonna show you how to do it in a quilt as you go method. And I'm just gonna tease you with the back cause I did this last Saturday morning. And I like to show you guys stuff even though you can't see the front. So I, I'm gonna just start showing you more of what I do even if it's like way in advance just so that you know that I'm like doing stuff I guess. And then a video that we are about to film. I know I have talked about this several times we are doing a jelly roll table runner quilt as you go and it is not coming out until the fall i made this about a month ago and i'll just tease you with that so i made both of these in one day including the binding and we're using our happy cloud batting for the table runner so you really don't even have to cut because it uses a jelly roll you just kind of open up a bunch of packages and go that's why i was able to do it in a day this i'm going to tease is going to be we have a fat quarter shop floss tube which is our youtube and that is our youtube for our cross stitch channel so if you like cross stitch subscribe to that we're keeping the quilting and the cross stitch separate this is a new pattern that we got called love my stitching and i changed it a little bit and i turned it into a bag but i changed it up a little bit and i'm going to be doing a live stream on that in July sometime and kind of talk about what I did and how I came up with it. So I did that last weekend. Oh my gosh, sometimes I feel like I don't do anything, but I really do do a lot. Um, some other things we have are Lori, my BFF, oh my God. I gave her one of these uh, caddies. It's, it's by Lipper and it's a bamboo caddy. And I know I showed it to you guys on the live stream a long time ago, like six months ago. And I sent her some and she painted it. And not only did she paint it, she made me a little cross stitch um, square from her stitch cards and she put lace around it, which is a great idea. The lace is her brand new lace. She has some new lace coming out later in the year. So it's all Lori. So I can look at, look at it and remind myself of Lori. Yeah. I know. And then she didn't even tell me what she was doing, but she texted me like, and was like, what's your favorite stitch card? And I was like, I made them all. I like them all. She's like, can you just answer? And I was like, okay, I like the chick. Aww. I know, she tricked me. And then she took, um, you know, obviously when you finish with Aura Floss, Floss, you have a wooden spool. Or when you finish with her vintage trim, you have this wooden spool left over. So she made me a cute pin cushion. So she painted it with her new paint that we talked about last week. It's chalky paint. And then she made the top. I don't know, I think she might have a blog post tutorial on this. It's cute. And she put her pins in it. So she's like, I'm gonna put everything in this product. I'm gonna put my vintage trim spool, I'm gonna put my paint, my fabric, and my pins. And then she did the same thing, and I never would have thought of this, with her small spools. And this is her lace, and then she put some scissors in there for me, so now I have new scissors. It's so cute. So I just wanted to show you because I was so excited 
that Lori made that for me and I get to see her soon. I get to see her in two months. So that's exciting because I haven't seen her in a while. And then this is how her paint looks. We've had some questions. I had a question this morning about not being able to see the color. So today we are putting these online. So like, like an image of the bottom so that you can see it better. And um, we're just waiting for the company to send us the images. Have I just like, I'm just like diary of the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna keep showing you stuff and then do the, do the like questions at the end. We also have a holiday baubles kit. So um, we do these Jolly Bars and the Jolly Bars are five by 10 inch rectangles. They're exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop and we always do a free pattern within the Jolly Bar. And so this is the free pattern that comes with your Jolly Bar. We obviously have a kit, but if you just want the free pattern, the only way you can get the pattern is it within the Little Tree Jolly Bar. And Crystal designed it and she sewed it. And this is the new Little Tree collection by Vanessa of Layla Boutique. It's so pretty. I love it. And I love, it doesn't really waste fabric, so you can really get get a full quilt out of it. And our kits are always packaged really cute. So there's that. We also are working with Noma Angel. She is from Australia and she's doing a 100 days, 100 blocks event. And so it's all on her blog all the details and so we put together a bundle of fabrics that would go along it's kind of like a starter bundle and it's very modern and um, she has a very different look so this is great because you know we don't do a ton of modern but this is a way to start and this is her pattern it's a little booklet and she uses marty michelle templates so there's a hundred blocks and her pattern is full color and it's got really nice paper we're kind of into smelling paper here um so it's nice paper and then these are two blocks that kate did for us just to show you so if you're looking for something a little bit modern a little bit different and I always like books that have a lot of blocks because then if you're making something, you can hand select the ones you want. Like say you need a quilt that's five by seven. You need 35 blocks, but you've got a hundred in here. So you can just pick the ones you like. So that's what I would do. So that's super awesome. And then this weekend also, I'm going to be working on this. This is our So Colorful pattern by Cori Yoder. She designed it for us. It's a PDF. And this is the club. We also have a club that goes with it. And these are the fabrics for June. They're yellows. Last week was, last month was aqua. And within the pattern that you can buy, it's only PDF and only available at Fat Quarter Shop. You get six different spool patterns. So every month since January, I've been making six spools a month. So I have this one yellow. And then this weekend, I'm gonna be making the other five. So I will show you that. But if you're in the club, here's your fabric so you can see it in advance. So pretty. And then I picked a couple things that I like from the store. So my dog's name is Piggy. Piggy. He's really bad in the middle of the night. He woke me up to go outside. And this morning I was like, he was sound asleep in his little bed. He has a new bed outside. It's like all comfy, comfy like a couch. I got it at Home Goods, and like I think he likes to be outside now. I mean, he's like, this is more comfortable than your bed. Let me outside, <laughs> and I'm like, don't be waking me up at three o'clock. So we made some piggy needle menders, minders. I like to say menders. I know it's not right, but that's okay. It's a little piggy. Yeah, and then if you get one, you want to make sure you don't like slap your magnet on the back because the magnet could break. But if you cross stitch or embroider or applique, he's just cute and he can remind you of little piggy that pees all over everywhere. <laughs> he's a little bad boy. We also got, last year we had a collection called Swell Christmas and we had a Santa panel. We have those back in stock. This year, 
Urban Chicks did Sweet Christmas and did a snowman. And so in here, it is a digital panel and it has a large snowman, a small snowman, and a quilt label. And it comes prepackaged. So you can see the large one here and the smaller ones over here. And I just think it's cute. Um, I, I just like the colors. And Kevin really likes snowmen. So I thought about maybe making this. Oh my gosh, do you see all those half rectangles? I want to do it, like I just don't have time. But this is something if I did it, I would do like five a day or something. I would just say, do this many a day. So I'm going to show you how, how it looks. It comes with a project sheet. And it also gives you an option for a table runner. It comes with a block lock rectangle so that you can yeah, so you can, Denise is like, oh yeah, that's what I mean. You can trim it down. And then there's the panel that goes, so the panel overlays, you make the whole back background, the whole, all these blocks, and then you applique this down. It's fusible and you just like applique it down. And it's got all the little pieces pre-packed that you need. And they're already pre-cut, so you don't have to sit and cut rectangles. So it makes it really easy. Yeah, you can just like start, you can just go. That's why I said I want to do it. I told Denise I want to do it and she kind of looked at me. But now she's like, I want to do it too. Yeah, we're both like, we, we, could do it. we could We could share it and make, it, make table runners because I would probably give up. But yes, it's super cute. Um, I also like that it's different. Um, you know, with quilting, stuff all starts looking the same. And this is cute. I mean, really, like my kids would like it. Like it really appeals to all ages, I think. Another thing that we have is a free uh, blog remix. So we have these bags. What are they called again? Road trip pillow bags. Road trip pillow bags. So it's a free pattern. Sarah Price designed it and um, it's on our blog. So I'm gonna show you the different ones that uh, our customer service did, because they are awesome. Yeah. So this is Teresa Williams. And this is orchard. And so what it is, is a bag. You put a pillow in it, so you can use it as a pillow, or you can put your iPad or your books in there. So that's orchard. This is Catherine Hale, and this looks like a Riley Blake pirate group. And then this even has a book. <laughs> this one is Deborah made this one. I think there's another one she made inside the pocket as well. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. It's hard to see. Oh, it's so cute. I think this is Robert Kaufman. Oh, the little zebras. I know. I think it's Robert Kaufman. Yeah, I'm trying to like, because I know y'all are going to ask what fabrics they are. So I try to guess. Oh my gosh, my son would love this. This is Harry. Is this Harry Potter? Yeah. Yes, that's my favorite one. Angel okay, good. That. Angel made it, but then Angel has another one. Oh, she's got Pokemon! Oh my gosh, I might have to make a deal with her today. Pikachu. I might have to buy these. I might have to be like, can I buy these? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. O-M-G. So I have a kid that likes Pikachu, and I have a kid that likes Pokemon, and then I have a kid that likes WWE, John Cena. <laughs> Don't know. This is really cute. This is Moda. And this is a collection that I used in my Moda Blockheads. I can't think of the name of it, but it's got Dr. Seuss in it. And Sue B made this, and it's cute. Oh, my gosh. So we have lots of free stuff. Um, oh, my gosh. That was a lot. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I have a lot on the radar to do this weekend, but um, I'm happy to answer any questions. I know I did a lot. It's easier for me um, to just go through everything so I don't, because I do prepare for this, so I can like not forget stuff and then if Lily asks me the questions, I don't make as many mistakes <laughs> because then y'all call customer service. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I said that, I'm sorry. Okay, um, I'm gonna just pick a few questions here to start oh, off. Oh, and with. we're gonna give Colleen Holt a confetti cannon. Oh, yes, Colleen, I saw your comment yes. on our YouTube. I'm sorry I didn't give you a confetti cannon when you became a member, so confetti cannon for Colleen. I don't know if you're in the chat yet, but I hope you see this. Oh, and I wanted to remind you guys that the Threadology auction is still going. It ends on Monday. And so we are already at over $1,000. So that's super awesome. 
This quilt was made by Melissa Corey. It's super heavy, so I'm not gonna pick it up because I learned my lesson last week. <laughs> and I think it's because the quilting is so dense, it just makes it heavier. So this one is up for auction. If you go to eBay and just search Threadology Quilts, that is great. And we also have links below in our description box as we do on all the products. And this is Pat Sloan's. So with that, we should be, oh my gosh, I think we're gonna be at the end of this whole year, 45,000 for Make-A-Wish, which is wow. so awesome. Um, I don't know if you have the info, but I have uh -oh. pictures of the Make-A-Wish kids that, like, two of them oh, yeah. you granted. Yeah, so if you want to show the first little girl, yeah, her name is Kira. She lives in North Austin, and I'm going to tell you the story, and I'm going to try not to cry. So, one of, and Kevin might not like that I'm giving away too much information, but um, one of Kevin's really good friends from high school, they went to high school together, they went to college together, they were fraternity brothers together, and Kevin was in his wedding. He had children much earlier than we did because he got married much earlier than we did. He had a daughter, she was 16 in December, two years ago. She was diagnosed with brain cancer, she died within 10 months. So obviously that is not, um, that's just devastating. And one of the things that Kevin and I had wanted to do the second we found out was we were wanted to be the people that granted the wish. And we had the money because we had money left over from the, th from the last year's charity quilt. So we were gonna pay for her to go to London. That's where she wanted to go. But she died before she could. So we told Jocelyn, we were already working with the lady at Make-A-Wish and she passed away so she said you know what i'm gonna find another person with the same condition so there's a little girl her name is kira she is in if i remember right about second grade and so we go to her house and she wanted to play she wanted a playscape a playhouse because she's blind and she's blind from the brain cancer so my kids played with her for like an hour. They loved it and it has like a slide and you can go in, it has air conditioning, it's awesome. So she can actually have a playground for herself. So I'm talking and a nurse comes and the nurse was the one who treated Kevin's daughters, Kevin's friend's daughter. And I mean, so it was good that we actually, anyway, it all came kind of full circle she has brain cancer, but she will have that house. Um, it will last her through, I mean, probably till she's like, in, I mean, it's almost like she could even use it in high school because it has like an upper balcony where you can sit and read because she reads Braille um, and it has like an inside where there's chairs. So that make a wish was awesome. That was our most recent one. The first one we did was a uh, high schooler named Andrew who has cystic fibrosis. His prognosis is very good because there are new medicines out for cystic fibrosis that allow you to live longer than you used to, which is great because I didn't even know that. And he wanted to go to Fiji. So he went to Fiji and he had a great time. So those are the two wishes we've been able to grant. But this year we're hoping, because in the past we've done one a year, we're hoping we can do three or four. So. It does, um, I mean, I guess because I'm the one that gets to grant the wishes, I can see that it really does work and it really is what the kid wants. It's not about how much it costs. It's about what the kid wants. They could have a wish that's a thousand dollars. They could have a wish to go to Disney. They could have a wish to meet John Cena, who John Cena has granted the most make a wishes of everybody. I just wanna throw that out because that's awesome. Anytime they go to him for Make-A-Wish, he does it, which shows like what a good person he is. So my son does have a full-size John Cena cardboard cutout in his room. <laughs> but that wasn't part of Make-A-Wish. <laughs> that wasn't part of Make-A-Wish. That's just, um, I feel like if he had to have a cardboard cutout of somebody from WWE, let's pick a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, everyone's feeling all the emotions. Okay. Sorry. No, I mean... 
It's good to know that everyone's money works. Like it, your money goes somewhere. It doesn't come to us. And it's, if you affect, okay, like there's, everything is a trickle in life. Everything trickles down. So if someone in your family dies, that doesn't affect one person, it trickles to everyone. If you help one person, it trickles to everyone. Everything you do in life has a purpose and everything that happens, happens for a reason. But it is like, you may be doing a wish for one person that doesn't just help them, it helps their parents who are probably have health insurance, you know, like the health insurance doesn't pay for all this stuff. So they've probably got bills to pay for the cancer and all the things and it just, it helps everybody. Um, the question I'm seeing most in the live chat okay. right now is uh, everyone's asking what size pillow fits in the road trip travel bags. Um, I believed uh, Denise and I when we were doing it yesterday, it fits like a 10 inch by 10 inch. Is what no. we put in some of them? No. 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 Okay, here, we'll go measure it. Woo! There we go. Read the tag. That's not the right size. No. Is it not? Okay. That's not the right size. That's 10 by 10. That's not the right size, though. We put the wrong size in here. I think it's a 12 by 14. 12 by 14, yes. Here, measure this. Don't measure the pillow because y'all put pillows that don't fit. <laughs> but y'all didn't know until I pulled it out. But I think we it's, didn't. And I think we sell them. And if you, they have them at Joann's. They're very standard at Joann's. Yes, but like a normal size pillow will not fit. No. It's going to be 14, too large. 12 by 14. 12 by 14. Because the bag is 13. Yeah. Like 13 That's what it's meant for. Yeah. Yeah. And Sorry. See, we have a mat right over there. We can just like <laughs> measure it out. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Marsha Baker was asking, what batting did he use for threadology? Threadology. I don't know. We oh. could, um, because for my threadology, I use probably 80 20. Mm -hmm. for, their threadology, for their threadology quilts that are for auction, I do not know. If you want to bid on it and you want to know that information, you can just put a comment on the eBay auction and then we could contact Melissa Corey or Pat Sloan. But mine, I'm pretty simple. I like 80-20. Okay. And Gina Tell was asking, can you tell more about what you mean by quilt as you go? Do you quilt the blocks then connect them with sashing? I'm connecting the blocks to the blocks is what I'm doing. So it's different um, and it's it's our very first jelly roll quilt i'll give you that um so we're just trying to make that video i mean it was one of our most popular patterns so we're doing block to block we have a lot of kinks to work out there were some things i didn't like about it so we're going to work all those kinks out with people who make samples so yes block to block no sashing please no sashing um, and there is a new YouTube member that uh, joined a few minutes ago. I think I missed them. Uh, welcome home, mom. Confetti cannon for home, mom. Thank you. And uh, also, small shout out to Sally Jane. She said it is 12.07 a.m. Saturday. Good morning from Australia. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. I want it to be Saturday already so I can start sewing. <laughs> what? That's international? What? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um... Oh, and uh, there was a typo, not typo, in our description. Uh, it said something about Witch's Night Out in the description or title of this video originally. Uh, Witch's Night Out updates will be next week for those of you who saw that and were asking about it. Um, okay, Crystal Longart and several other people were asking, how do you balance quilting, stitching, and work? How much time do you spend daily? And she says, I'm a teacher on summer break, so I am able to keep up, but I'm going to fall when school starts. <clears throat> So I try to be very efficient with my time. I come to work at 7.50 to 8.10 every morning. Um, my kids don't have a ton this summer because they have camps, but they're during the day. So at night, there's, they're watching the NBA draft or whatever last night. I don't know, Zion, Williams, Pelicans. I don't know how to kid last night, running around the house about it. Um, so at, they can like, in the summer, I have a lot more time because I don't have to pick them up from baseball or basketball or dance or whatever. But when I come home, I don't usually sew during the week. I get up on Saturday about seven o'clock. My kids don't get up until about nine and I just make sure, Friday night what I do is I make sure everything is starched for the weekend, wake up, cut everything, and then I can just sew throughout the day. 
Um, and then, you know, we run errands, we go places. So I will wake up early and stay up late on Saturdays and Sundays. And obviously I work here so I can like cheat and go home and get stuff done. So I just try, and I'm a very fast sewer. Um, my kids hang out in my sewing room. They have little areas. They have chargers in there. They hang out with me. They pull triangle paper. They watch whatever they want on TV. It's kind of like free reign, um, free reign in my office. So um, even if I'm home, I don't cook. That's one thing I don't do. I don't cook. I don't clean. There's certain things I don't do. So those are two things that help me not do that. Okay. Um, also, I think it's Gabriel's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Gabriel. Did Woo. you find that date he needed? Oh. He needed the oh, date the on the Bonnie and Camille Wovens. Oh, yeah, no, wait. Oh. We're waiting. We, yeah. we saw your question, Gabriel, on the Bonnie and Camille Wovens, and we're waiting. We're looking into that right now. It's supposed to be this month, but it has not shipped yet. But we're looking to see if we can get you more of a specific date. Um, Jessica Skibicki was asking, did Piggy go to Starbucks today? No. He <laughs> is going to daycare. Oh. He didn't go to Starbucks today. Okay. Um, and then we, I'm seeing a lot of questions about people asking, how do you become a YouTube member and what is a YouTube member? So Lily's got all that because I will tell you wrong and then she'll correct me. So, so, but, but basically the YouTube membership is a way for us to, we use all, it's a, it's like Patreon. On you, YouTube. yes, you do it. You, okay. Sorry. Um, okay. So it is a four ninety nine a month membership, um, where we just give you like a few extra things. Um, it's not like taking away anything from like the regular quilting channel. It's just like you get extra coupons and patterns uh that are usually paid patterns on our website occasionally we offer them for free for a limited time to our youtube members um last week i think it was we did like an exclusive like ama where everyone got to ask me questions because that was a request um there have been previous amas with kimberly i think we have about three of them where kimberly just like you can ask her any questions um and like she'll answer them because as you guys know in this live chat there's like hundreds and hundreds of you watching right now um so i can't get to everyone's questions and comments um, and then we also offer like exclusive polls. Like I remember we offered a poll for like what stash and store color would you want like a few months ago and then. And that really, I will tell you helped because the color that y'all voted on the most has sold the most. So that ended up being better for us than it was for you guys. And we use all that money for equipment and for like, we have people that we have to pay. Um, obviously like me, I just get on here. I don't need to be paid anything to get on here because I already work here, but like, I can't do this without somebody videoing me and I have to pay them and all the things. Like we got a better camera, we got some better lights, um, different microphones. Yeah, like it honestly makes a huge difference, you guys, uh, for everything we do here, um, filming wise. We've been able to upgrade a lot. Um, but yeah, so the way you join is, uh, there's a little button next to the subscribe uh, under the video that says join and that's where like it lists everything for you. Um, if you're in the YouTube live chat, um, you guys can see like the little extra emojis everyone gets and the little like, um, they call them badges, like that little symbol all the members have next to their names. Um, oh, and while well, we're kind of on the subject, Jennifer Foster submitted a super chat. Uh, oh, she says, thank you. Because um, this is a popular question actually that's been coming up. So Jennifer says, if you starch, how much extra fabric should you buy? I would say like a quarter yard at most. Um, you obviously, so with, so when I starch, there's a video we can link below on starching. I starch everything. I don't make anything without starch. If I cannot make it with starching, I'm not making it because I can't, I sew really fast and so it stretches my fabric because I go pedal to the metal. Like it's not, the machine shakes. It actually drives Kevin crazy. He has to come shut my door because he can't stand it because it's so loud. Um, so I starch everything. It shrinks half inch one way and the other direction it doesn't shrink. So if you need a 10 inch rectangle, I mean, if you need the full 10 inch square, you don't wanna, you don't want to starch. But it just so happens that in our Merry Mini, you don't need the full layer cake. Oh my gosh, I don't know how that happened, right? Like, there's gotta be a reason, it's so I can starch. Um, so just a little bit extra, not much. Like even if I did this, I would starch every single rectangle. And my son, 
lays them out for me. That's his new thing. It's like, um, I won't let him be around me when I starch, but then he puts them or he'll pick them up. Like he will get up on a Saturday morning and go get all my starch and be like, I got your starch. Um, and then I know people were asking for a video on how you starch. We did do a live stream about that um, about a year ago. Uh, you can find it in like the live stream playlist uh, where you can see exactly how Kimberly starches. Yep, um, I just starch in my bathroom. And since we, we could maybe redo that video since I have added, we had an awesome Kimberly Stitch Squad member who gave me a great idea to use PVC pipes, which has been awesome and a time saver. And then I was starching so much that I ended up buying on Amazon a shower, close, a clothes drying rack that I put in the shower. So I've got um, little things I can hang on everywhere. And so last night I starched um, everything for the weekend. I'm gonna make my yellow blocks, Harry Potter. I've got it all starched, ready to go. And then I starched the stuff that we're gonna video today. Um, but I love to starch. I, my favorite part of the process is starching, ironing, cutting, pressing. Sewing, mm, it's all right. Uh, Carolyn Gwynn says, what is the tulip pillow behind you? Is there a pattern? I love it, the Lori Holt one. Oh, yeah, we can link to it. This is a PDF pattern, and it's a PDF pattern that Lori designed. We sell it on our site, and Lori and I made these about three summers ago. We um, haven't done it in the last summer. We're not going to do it this, well, we are going to do it this summer. We're just going to do it a little bit different, but we just sit and sew for like a week in a hotel room, and so I pieced the top and then she turned it into a pillow and then we have matching ones, so she has one too. I don't remember the name of it, I'm sorry, but we can link to it. All right. And then I also think uh, Peach recently had an anniversary and Gina Tell, I think it's either her anniversary today or it's soon or it passed. Anyway, Happy I see it in the comments. Happy anniversary to everyone who had an anniversary recently. Okay, and okay, we answered that. Gabriel is really requesting uh, if you could make half rectangle on a roll paper. All right. It'll go right on Denise's list. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good idea. It's just how, what we would have to figure out what size rectangle you start with. So we can talk to Jocelyn about that because Jocelyn's like the math guru, but that's a good idea. Um, oh, okay, and then to answer Gabriel's question about uh, Bonnie and Camille Wovens, uh, pre-cuts have shipped, but no update as to when they will be here. Um, that will probably be Monday then. As well as the yardage, yeah. Yeah, so that probably means that it went, so if, if it shipped, that means that if there's no tracking, it means it went on a freight truck, which means we bought a lot of it. And so it would probably not be here today. It would probably be here Monday. And if not Monday, Tuesday, because freight trucks show up when freight trucks show up. Like, it's not like UPS. It's different. You can't just truck it. Okay. And Deborah Henderson was asking, is Sugar Dish, I think that's the name. It, yeah, it's Sugar Bowl. Uh, but for the light pink or peach, I want to paint my sewing machine table light pink. Uh, so to answer Deborah, it is Sugar Bowl. I don't know if you want to show the paint. If we have but it. we don't have pink. Oh, we don't have it up here. We don't have pink here. We just have the colors from, we have, let's see, morning sky, picket fence, and overalls upstairs. I mean, we, we have more colors. It's really cute. And it's nice. It's like a chalky finish. And then if you are, we're using it for our Jolly July ornaments, which is a cross cross stitch event in July. We're using the paint and if you're just doing something small, you don't have to add a sealant, a sealant or anything, but if you're gonna use furniture, it tells you what to do. And their website has lots of info on what to do. And Diane Sanders was asking, will triangle paper work for a kit as in pre-cut fabric? It depends. Yeah, it depends on the kit. I always just back into triangles. I always use, I have used triangles on a roll forever. I just, um, I don't do anything without it. It just makes it faster. 
Uh, and Teresa says, just wanted to say thank you uh, for Fat Quarter Shop taking care of their customers. There have been some delays with the Table Runner Club, and your response has been awesome. Thank you. We um, share in that frustration <laughs> with a happy smile. Yes. We have asked for um, future patterns so that we can review them in advance. Okay, and then... Um I think this is my favorite comment from this live stream, so I'm going to pop it up. Uh, Michigan Gal 001 says, Lotto Rain, please fall on me so I can buy it all from Fat Quarter Shop. Aww. So I thought that was funny and very sweet. Thank you. Okay. And Sue Cleek was asking, will you be getting the Soda Winter Manor Kit? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Um, I would email customer service, email service at fatquartershop.com, and then just ask them to send that info to me, and I will look it up and try to figure out what it is. Um, if you have a link to it or a manufacturer or anything you can include in there, that will help me know because we buy so much stuff. Um, it's hard to keep up. Uh, Lisa Riser says, Kimberly, do you have any great tips for sewing the small five inch blocks for summer moon? They're a bit of a challenge. Oh yeah, starch. I starch that stuff and um, starch helps. I use triangle paper and then trimmed it down. There isn't a set standard triangle paper you can use for that book because it's all scrappy. It's all different sizes, but I would say starching. Uh, also before you press, set your seam and press because those blocks are small and intricate. You just have to take a little bit more time and it just be a little bit, you have to be a little bit more, the smaller you go in a project, you have to be a little bit more accurate with pressing and a little bit more accurate with cutting and just slowing down, taking your time. Uh, question from YouTube and I apologize if I get this username wrong, Shulzu Mom says, can you do a video where you show how to sew with different Aurifil thread weight? Sure. Um, we would have to probably do that 2020 because our list is full for the entire year. We plan everything in advance four months. But we can add that and the starching to the list. Yes. Our film schedule is pretty full. Uh, Susan Glynn says, uh, oh, this is when you're talking about John Cena. She said, yeah, John Cena isn't bad to look at, LOL. Oh, that. I don't, uh, he doesn't do it for me, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and then Erica. I didn't even, honestly, like, I don't watch movies. That's a thing. I don't know who any of these people are. I didn't know who John Cena was when uh, my, my son started talking about him. I'm like, who's this John Cena? And Kevin's like, What? He's like, he's an actor, he's a wrestler. Kevin knew all about him. I was like, who is it? I don't even know who it was. <laughs> but yeah, he loves he loves him some John Cena and apparently he likes some guy named Zion Williams who got drafted. He was the first. My son is eight and knows more about the NBA. When, my hus when Kevin came home last night, Kevin was like, he's talking about stuff I don't even know. He's obsessed with the NBA right now. Just like, okay, whatever. He comes and tells me, every time somebody got drafted last night, he came in my office to tell me, who was drafted, uh, what what they play, like are they center, a forward center, a sh whatever, and um, what team. I was just like, okay, yay. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah, I was like, yay, I don't know. <laughs> um, Erica Huber says, hi there, I was wondering how you make your design pads, is that what they're called? They're design boards. We have a video. It is a Lori Holt came up with that idea. It is her original idea. We filmed a video with her probably five years ago. We can link it. Um, it's just called how to make a design board. You can also buy them at Fat Quarter Shop, but they're basically foam core board, cut to the size you want, glue batting to the top, and put a binding around the edge by using hot glue. Or I saw in Kimberly Stitch Squad, which is our Facebook group, some people are using decorative duct tape for the edges. So that's kind of cool too. Or you could just do a board and you don't have to put any edges on it. Um, but it does, the, the batting just keeps it nice, all your pieces nice and in place. If you go from your cutting table to your sewing table to your ironing table, etc., etc. Okay. Um, and then. Angela Bullbeck says, can you recommend a book with traditional quilt blocks? I'm using reproduction fabric and I want it to be a keepsake quilt for my daughter who is currently 13. 
Um, she says, I have a progressive medical condition. So if you want super traditional, Farmer's Wife came out, I had to think of the name, but Farmer's Wife came out about 10 years ago, but it's super hard, uses templates, it's hard to do. I would recommend Farm, Farm Girl Vintage or Help me, Denise. <laughs> We're trying to think. Um, you could maybe look up Joe Morton has yeah. some traditional books or Kim Deal. And Kim Deal is spelled D-I-E-H-L. So I would kind of start there. Okay. And if you put it in Stitch Squad, um, I'm sure lots of people will have recommendations as well. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take a few more comments and questions here. Amanda Smith said, do you happen to know what color crossweave is on your Threadology quilt? Yes, 12119-50. Uh, I think I know the number, but I don't want to say the wrong one. It's in stock. Um, we will answer that below. But I think it's 53, 12119-53. But we need to confirm that. Sonia Leach says, what is the difference between Lori Holt's Cute Cuts rulers and her Trim It Square rulers? So Trim It Square have diagonal lines on them so that, no. Trim It Square are used more for, um, I think, trimming down a block after it's made and the other ones are more for cutting blocks, I believe. But Lori might be in the chat and she can answer, but um, I think that's what they're for. One's more for trim down and one's more for just general cutting because one has more lines than the other. All right, okay. Uh, Sheila Schaefer says, when I look at flash sale and there isn't anything, does that mean it's sold out? On our website? Yes. And we usually put a note on our Fat Quarter Shop social media that says, okay, today's is sold out. If it sells out super early, we usually add another one. If it's late at night, obviously we're asleep. <laughs> um, Patricia Lewis was asking, will you be getting any more Little Tree black fabric for the panel backing? Ooh, I email customer service, email the SKU, and I can look into it. And what we do is we can look and see if Moda still has it. We reorder Moda for a very long time, but once it's sold out, it's sold out. And so Moda, I mean, once it's gone, it's gone. So, um, but I can look. Okay. So these last few are just comments that I thought were great during the live chat. Um, first one was Marsha Baker. I didn't know who John Cena was until the Hefty commercials. I don't even know what the Hefty commercials is. The, the for the Hefty bags, like. Like trash bags? I know, but I've never seen that commercial. Oh, it's like he comes out and like there's like a, a wimpy looking guy and he's buying the wimpy bags and then John Cena comes out and he's <laughs> buying the hefty bags because he's like strong and hefty. Anyway. That's funny. Yeah, see, I don't even know that. I don't know. I don't know very much about all of it. I just kind of go along um, with that. I will say, I have to brag, my son will, um, he's very shy. He's very quiet. I don't talk about him as much because he doesn't like it. He doesn't want to hear his name on live stream. He's very shy. He's very introverted. He, on the Texas task test, or whatever it's called, the state of Texas test, he's in third grade, first year to ever take it. On the mathematics, he scored 100, and on the reading, he scored 100. And I was just like, oh my goodness. I know, I was so excited and so proud. I mean, he always tries his best, but oh my gosh. I can't even imagine that I have a kid that smart. Okay. Um, Cindy Chris says, uh, she, she, she just said, add Kimberly classic and vintage blocks, meaning for the suggestions for... Oh, yeah. So for the... For... We have a classic and vintage series, which is on YouTube, and they're free block patterns that you can find on our free pattern page. And those are lots of traditional blocks that we try to make um, peaceable because a lot of the traditional blocks blocks that were made a long time ago use templates that you cut from a newspaper and so we try to make them relevant for today and easy for today because everything I want to do I want to do I want to be able to go in my sewing room cut it and go I don't want to have to like trace and take forever 
Uh, Karen Mason says, has anyone else noticed that faultless starch has increased in price? Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about faultless starch because I am a little bit upset. So, there's this one starch. It has a blue lid. I love it. Last week, we couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. My nanny couldn't find it. We went to two HEBs. We went to two Targets. I couldn't find it. So, on Saturday, I went to Costco because obviously we need snacks. My kids, I have four kids, they eat a lot of stuff. And they they just like pour through it. So I'm like, just go, it's cheaper. Let's go to Costco, get them some snacks. Great. There was no starch in the store, nowhere. Emma looked every aisle, I looked every aisle, I was devastated. Went to HB, there's no starch. They changed the starch. That starch does not exist. I cannot find it anywhere. So I thought, you know what? I see it at walmart.com on Amazon. I'm gonna order it. I ordered it, it came, it's different. It's totally different, but so far it's worked. Everything I've used it on, I, it's worked. It says something about firm and, but yes, I, yeah, I'm a little bit, um, like I don't like change. I mean, most of us don't in life. Like change, people don't like it. I really don't like it. Like I don't like change. I like things to be the same, but I am happy to say that since the starch arrived on Tuesday, I've used it in the videos that we filmed yesterday, the yellow block, the um, some other things. So for now, I'm okay, but I think that starch is gone. Uh, Jennifer Daniel says they bought Niagara and repackaged everything, and she said she saw that on Faultless's website. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's, but it's, it has a totally different name and it does seem different. I mean, the texture feels different. It doesn't feel the same, but it's okay. Um, but I just want my old starch back. Okay. Um, Michigan gal was asking when will farm girl vintage Two quilt kit be in stock? Oh yeah, not until like September probably. The book is coming out in September, so we won't do the kit until September. Uh, and then Teresa, when we were talking about channel membership, she said Lily League Unite, which I thought was hilarious. Oh, uh, Lily League. It's like the Justice League. It's like the Justice League. She likes all that stuff. Marvel, whatever all that stuff is. I don't watch movies, so I don't know. Yeah. Isn't there like a Marvel and a Justice and Well, a... Justice League is DC, um, See, which I is another know. company, but I do love Wonder Woman uh, and Gal Gadot. I love her. Um, so yes, I will happily be Wonder Woman in the Justice League. Um, <laughs> and she has on blue on the top and orange on the bottom. It kind of matches. Oh, uh, I do. Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah it kind of looks like Superwoman. Colors. Does it? To me. Okay. I see. I don't watch all that stuff. I don't. <laughs> I still want to watch Rocket Man, but um, yeah. Highly recommend it. Uh, okay, and then just last comment here, because uh, we are at the hour. Michelle Rayola said, "Watching with no volume because I'm at work. I'll watch with sound later tonight." So kudos to you, Michelle, for watching us even without sound. Yeah. Thank you. And if you have ideas for um, future stuff you want to see on live stream, uh, let us know. Any kind of techniques. Um, I'll do techniques every now and then within the live stream. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Um, and I hope all of you guys have a great weekend.